says, I got a message from someone telling me they want to help my site rank higher in Google. They say they represent 150 clients. They want a link from my site to another attorney's website. Then another attorney client of theirs will link to my site. They're not asking for money or anything. And they say that this doesn't violate Google rules. What should I do? You should pass. Um, okay, so what they're trying to do is they're trying to get relevant niche relevant links to their client sites from other attorneys. So like you said, what they say is they they want a link from they want your site to put a link on it that links to another attorney's website. And then they also will give you a link from another attorney. So the risk of this is that first of all, um, you don't know who's going to be linking to you. So just because they're giving you a link doesn't mean it's that great. Um, it might not be a, a great website. It could be a, a, I mean, we don't even, you could even, it could be a penalized website. You, you don't know the history of this website. So I wouldn't do that. Now, another thing, if an SEO company goes to you and says, I want you to link to my client. Now, the way that linking works is every every website passes what's kind of known as link juice right it's it's kind of like the term for it it basically means how authoritative is your website so here's how linking works with search engine optimization basically links which websites link to other websites like which websites link to your website is one of the most important factors when it comes to how google ranks your website so the thinking is like this let's say you have a a website and the New York Times links to your website. Google looks at the New York Times and says, okay, the New York Times is a very authoritative website. They're very, you know, they've got a lot of great content. They have a lot of traffic. We don't believe that they would link to a spammy website. So we hold the New York Times in, in a very high degree of authority. So because they're linking to uh, John Smith's website, because they're linking to John Smith's website, then John Smith's website must be somewhat authoritative as well because the New York Times would not link to a spammy website. So because of that, because the New York Times is linking to this website, we're going to boost John Smith's website's ranking up a little bit. Now, not everyone's going to get links from the New York Times, and this happens on a lot of different levels at all, you know, everything from, from giant websites to, you know, websites that launched yesterday. Um, so if you have a website that... So, 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 so a lot of times what will happen is you'll link to a website, you'll link to one of their clients' websites, and then what they'll start doing, because they know that the impact of that link depends on the power of the page that it's on. So basically the impact that the link on your website going to their client will be directly impacted by the number of links that are going to your page. So what this could do is they could actually, you know, start running a ton of links to that page in an effort to boost up the the ranking of the page that's linking to their client. I hope I'm not losing anybody on this. I might be. But bottom line is you could end up with a ton of really bad, really spammy links going to your website um, because they're trying to help their client. So I don't recommend doing this. Um, if you if you need help getting links to your website, let me know and I can I can help you out with that. Um, but yeah, don't 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 do these reciprocal linking type of things. Um, the only time I ever do it is uh, if we're able to vet. Um, and there's actually some other SEO companies that I've caught asleep at the wheel, and we've been able to kind of uh, you know play the game a little bit and and kind of uh, get some really good links and not have to uh, uh, not have to, to really risk our clients at all. <laughs> so, but again, that's you know uh, that's that's you know me kind of being a savvy marketer and, and understanding that most people that do this don't know what they're doing. Uh, so, uh, you know, that, that, that's, that's what I do for my clients. <laughs> I've gotten competitors. I've gotten competitors. I got one guy in Boston to link to our client. He's a personal injury in Boston. So one personal injury attorney in Boston, I got, uh, I, I got my client's competitor to link to my client with the anchor text, basically saying, this is the best Boston personal injury attorney. Uh, which I'm, I'm pretty proud of that one. <laughs> and I've done that on a few different times uh, because this SEO company just wasn't paying attention. Uh, so it's pretty cool.